All right, what's going on, Jason? Uh, going to Cubase. Uh, I'm gonna open it up and show you um, this quick way of doing this. Like you were saying, since you're still running Cubase LE, um, and I always like to tell people to um, make sure. Uh, what I do is put all of my tracks in my um, external hard drive, or uh, data disk, or uh, USB find you something else to put it on also so you won't lose it just in case your computer do crash you know you always want to back up your um you know your 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 project so um and since you already know how to open it what I'm going to do is just go to new project um cuz I'm not going to save this this is just a teaching mode right here now you always want to know where you you know saved that so like I said I do mines on the uh, external drive but um, to answer your questions what I do is right click out here anywhere and since I normally be dealing with more than one track I'm gonna go to multiple and I'm not doing MIDI right now so I'm gonna change this to audio and let's just say make a number of about eight eight or nine just say eight and so there it is and since you're using the audio box um, personas interface I'm pretty familiar with that too now the problem you was having you said it plays but when you record it's not in sync and then everything um, you're trying to do is not showing up or it might show up without the wave file so this is what you want to do Jason um, because this happens a lot and it's a, it's a um, common mistake a lot of people make and I had learned, through, learned this through trial and error but what you want to do is go up here to devices and go down to device setup and then what you want to do is go to VST multi-track and slide over to your right this is where you change your drivers so you see the ASIO Direct X full duplex driver. So you check off the one that you're using because if yours is not checked off, then that's another reason why it's not it's not going to operate right. And you notice I have the you know the ASIO Presonus USB right there also, and then I use Omega. I have Omega on her also. So and it's going to ask you if you want to switch it or keep the one you own and that's where you would click switch it at so that's how you do that and then another um, thing since this interface only has two inputs you know always make sure you are on the right channel when you record just like I'm on one let's just say if I make this drums but if this is on two and I have my instrument line in instrument one that's why it's not going to come out right. So since the the keyboard, just say for instance the keyboard is on one, then I need to have this on one, and then you're ready to go. You know, and then far as tempo, you go to project, and then you'll see tempo track, and right here is where you can change that tempo. What I do is set mine from the start. Now you notice the grid, and then it said four four on the signature, so what I do is leave mine like 1, 9, 17, 25, 33 or I might enlarge it. That's what these are over here for when you get your wave files that will enlarge it or oh, this will stretch your numbers you know you might want to go 1, 3, 5 but I, I keep mine pretty basic you know like that because especially if you're doing just an 8 bar loop so that's pretty much the um, simple way um, to do that and if um, you need, if you got any more questions, brother, um, let me know, and I'll come back and do some more. So I um, hope this is helpful for you, and have a blessed day.